Hello, welcome back everyone. If you've been with me before, if this is your first time, uh, glad you're stopping in for the first time. So this video is about how to wire a single pole light switch. And for those of you who have done this many times, this will be uh, you know, repetitious for you. But for those of you who haven't done it before, this you, you might find this to be very helpful. You know, you, it could be that you're running uh, brand new lights in your house, or maybe you're just swapping out uh, an old light switch trying to put a new one in and you want to make sure you're doing it the right way or you know the wires are hanging out and you forgot well, where they were and where to put them so we're gonna he help you with all that today uh, the first step of this video is going to talk about when the power is going uh, to the light switch first and then to the light and then in the second part of the video we're going to talk about when the power is going to the light first and then to the light switch second so stay with us and uh, we'll take you through it Okay, one more thing I forgot to say is you need to check your local electrical codes because even though what we're taking you through here is very basic, there's a chance that your local code might instruct you to do it just a little bit differently. So if you watch this video and before you actually do the work, just check your local code. I'm also gonna mention that uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to a blog post that will walk you through this in text, in detail, if you'd like to read about it there. Okay, here we are. I made this little uh, uh, diagram here. This board just uh, screwed in a few pieces here to make the uh, illustration. And before I, I get into this, I just want to explain um, um, what a single pole light switch does and how it works. It's really fairly simple. So what you have basically are just two screws on the one side of the single pole switch and the other side is a ground screw. But basically what happens is is that um, the power, which is the black wire, comes in and it wants to go back out uh, to the light here. As soon as you flip the switch, it creates a connection between the two screws. So you flip the switch off, the connection between the two screws is broken, flip it back on, and now the power can run basically from this screw to this screw. That's the simplest way to explain it. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to wire the switch when the power which is uh, this line here is coming into the switch first and then to the light second okay when that is occurring you know the black wire which is the hot wire will come into the light switch and you want to attach that to the bottom of the sw the bottom screw in the switch okay this is the bottom usually the uh, switch will have an indicator should say top or just read the, the uh, words and read them right side up, that'll be the top of the light switch, okay? So the black wire will come in and it will go uh, to the bottom uh, screw and then you take another line where the other black wire coming in goes to the top, okay? Now the white wire coming in is the neutral. Those will not get wired to the switch at all. They'll get wired together on a wire nut Okay, and then uh, from there, this line will go to the uh, the light box in the ceiling, and you're going to wire up the uh, the black with the black wire on the light fixture, and the neutral to the neutral white wire on the light fixture as well. Okay, it's really that simple. Now, when it comes to the ground, in this case, uh, we want to do is take the the ground wire, which is usually bare in a uh, you know 14 or 12 gauge uh, Romex wire and uh, you want to cap them together one of them is going uh, coming in from the hot, from the hot wire one of them is going out across to the light and we created a little jumper down here that's going to go on to the the screw here uh, the ground screw on the on the light switch now keep in mind that um, some uh, ordinances and some some the code in some towns might also want you to run a jumper to the uh, box itself okay and you could potentially just just do that you can you don't necessarily have to Dep again check your code attach it to the light switch the light switch is going to be screwed into a metal box and then um, if it's all tied in together you can for example put the the ground on one of these screws in, inside the box too. Now keep in mind if you're working with a plastic old work box like this or a new work box um, 
you know, I get confused as to what they call it. it basically a plastic box. This won't be a ground for you. So when, when you're using one of these, you're going to have to wire it right, the ground right to the switch. Okay, now t following the ground to the other side, um, where the fixture has a green wire, which is ground, okay? And in this case, we're just tying it right into this as well. So and this, gr this green wire is not going into the light, but it's, also, it's just attaching itself to the housing of the light fixture. Each light fixture will be a little different. Some might not have the green wire coming off. Some just might have a ground screw that you're going to tie off to. Either way, just uh, see what you're working with. Read the instructions on the light fixture, and you should be fine. So now we have the, uh, the thing rewired to show you what will happen when the power comes in and goes to the light fixture first and to the switch second. Or at least the line flows in that way. The power still always, the flow of the current still actually goes to the switch before heading back to the light and we'll show you how that works here. So here's the power line coming in, okay? And um, remember how I said the black is the hot? Well the black is going to head towards the switch, okay? But before we get to that, uh, well, let's talk about that first. So the black heading to the switch is actually going to be paired up with a white wire here that we're marking with electrical tape as also in black electrical tape is also being hot. Okay. Uh, the other way to handle that is get this piece of wire in a 12-3 uh, or 14-3 piece of wire. And what that 3 means, well, right now these are you know 14 2 and it means you get uh, you get the neutral and the black two two wires the uh, we're not counting the uh, the ground here in a in a 14 3 you also get a red wire which would look like this if it was you know encased inside the insulation and so if you had 14 3 wire instead of using the the white you would use the red okay and then when you come to the other side here the red would be coming into the bottom of the switch. We're just using the white for this purpose here, so that way, you know, for example, if you had the wire already run in the house and you didn't have 14-3 or 12-3 wire, you could still use this white wire, but you would mark it with the with the black electrical tape or a black sharpie, indicating, you know, that it was the hot the hot wire. Okay, because again, it's coming in here hot black. Now this hot this is still a hot wire even though it's white into the bottom of the switch like we showed you before. Flip the switch out the top, back through, okay? And now the black hot, see black hot out, black hot in to the light switch, okay? So hopefully you, you understand that. Now the, uh, the copper is the, uh, the ground here. Again, paired off to the uh, green wire on the on the light fixture and then heading back also twisted to go back to the light switch to ground that as well okay so I'm hoping that that was illustrated for you in a way that's easily enough to understand if you do have any questions you can uh, post them down below in the comments and either myself or I'm sure one of the dozens of electricians who'll want to come here and and um, explain how they would do it differently can also chime in as well welcome for that feedback uh, but again check your local code you can on this one use either the white if you mark it or use the uh, the the other wire that's got the red line in there too which is exactly what you'd want to do if I were wiring a brand new house I would use the uh, the 14 3 or the 12 3 wire okay hopefully that helps you if uh, it did please hit that subscribe button Look for the next video that will talk about how to wire a three-way switch that'll come at some point in the near future. Thanks again. Talk to you soon.